Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create this. In this video, I will show you the complete way of making an awesome looking animated webcam overlay. It will be a long video, but I will try to cover everything that you should know, while creating for your own. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so first thing is, you need to create an overlay design of animated webcam. You can use Illustrator or Photoshop. Choice is yours. You will get lots of ideas from the internet about the overlay designs. But the most important part is how to prepare the file for After Effects. For Illustrator, you need to separate the parts in different layers. Like this. Also, while separating the layers, you should think, how you are going to animate it. Like, I will add glow effect on these red bars, so I make a separate layer for these red bars. I am not gonna animate the body parts, so I keep all of them in another layer. Similarly, I keep these star and dollar icon in different layer. By doing this, it will be easy for us to animate it in After Effects. Also, try to give name for each layer. It will help you to manage all layers properly. Now, once you're done with these, just save it in a normal way. Like this. Let's go to the After Effects. I already created a new composition with basic settings. Now just drag and drop the Illustrator file. It should show a screen like this. Make sure it's a composition. And hit OK. Double click on the file. And you can see all the separated layers here. Let's animate the logo portion first. Here I am going to use my own logo. You can use your own. Bring the logo on the timeline. Let's delete the outline layer. Because I am not going to use that. So simply delete that layer. Bring the logo on the timeline, and adjust the scale and position. Alright, now select the layer, and pre-composed it. Make sure to check move all attributes. Press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate of this layer. Now select the composition, go to layer, and select auto trace. Keep the same settings, and hit OK. Now go to effects and presets, and search for Saber. It's a free plugin from Video Copilot. Apply it on the layer. You can choose any presets from here. Then open Customized Core, and change the core type to Layer Mask. Reduce the core value according to the logo. Also make sure to go to the Render Settings, and change the Composition Settings to Transparent. Otherwise you'll get a black background every time. Now change the end size value to 0. And start roundness value to maximum value. On the first frame, Add a keyframe on Mask Evolution, then go forward to Timeline, and change this value to minus 2. Now click on this stopwatch icon by holding Alt key on your keyboard to add an expression. Then type Loop Out Duration. Now it will keep animating all the way to your timeline. No matter how long your timeline is. You can change the color from here. Let's pre-compose the logo back layer also. Press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate of this layer. 
For the bottom layer, we'll do the same thing. First we will auto trace it. Then apply saber effect. The simple orange preset. Change the core type to layer mask. Change the values a little bit. Place it the way you like. Change the values a little bit. Also do the same thing for animating it. Add a keyframe on mask evolution, go forward to timeline and change its value to a random value. Add the same expression by holding ALT plus click on the stopwatch icon. Now you can see the usefulness of this expression. It will keep animation all the way to your timeline. Also every time when you use Saber, make sure to change the composition setting to transparent. Now create a null layer. And link these four layer to the null layer. Select the null layer, hit S to open scale. Before change the value, Make sure to place the anchor point in the center of the logo. Now set the value to 70, and add a keyframe on it. Then go to 1 second, and change its value to 100. Then go forward to 2 seconds, and change its value to 70 again. Now we are going to add the same expression here also. So it keeps animating all the way to the timeline. So we are done with the logo part. Let's add some glow effect on these red bars. Select the layer, go to effects and presets, and search for glow. Apply it on the layer. And adjust the values a little bit. If you need more glow, you can just press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the glow effect. but I don't want that much glow here. Let's add a solid layer. Name it Saber Left. Turn down the opacity a little bit, so we can see the back. Now select the layer, take the pen tool, and draw a line like this. Add Saber effect on the layer. Change the core type to Layer Mask and choose a preset you like. Increase the opacity value to maximum, and change the composition setting to transparent. Change the color you like. Place the layer at the bottom. We will fix these portion later. You can always play with these settings to get some different results. Let's try some other presets, you can put some time here to check out the other presets. Select the layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate of this layer. Right click, go to transform, and select flip horizontal. You can change the name. Select both layer, and pre-composed it. Select the composition, take the pen tool.
and draw a shape like this. Now select the layer, and press M to open mask, and change the mask to subtract. Now you can see, there is no effect on inside portion. Let's animate the star and dollar icon. You can use any icons, or any social media icons here. Make sure you convert these layer to 3D layer. Toggle switches, if you can't find that option, or press F4. Now on the first frame, we are going to change the scale value. But before that, make sure you place the anchor point in the center of the icons. You can use pan behind tool for that. Let's change the scale value 70. Then add a keyframe on it, then go forward to timeline. And change its value to 100. Then go forward to one more second. And change its value 70 again. Let's add the similar type of keyframes on Y rotation. From 0 to 1. Then 0 again. So this is a simple 3D rotation. Select the layer, and press U to see the applied keyframes. Select all the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Select one property, and open graph editor. Make sure you are in edit speed graph. Then change the graph curve something like this. Do the same for rotation property also. Let's add some more details here. First create a square shape like this. You can change its color to comp color. Place the shape layer at the bottom. On the first frame, add a keyframe on position. After one second, change its position something like that. Then after one more second, change its position something like that. Select all the keyframes, right click on it, and select toggle hold keyframe. You can adjust the speed like this. Go to this frame, and press alt plus closing bracket to trim this layer. Adjust the keyframes a little bit. and pre-compose the layer. Now right-click on the layer, go to Time, and select Enable Time Remapping. Then Alt plus click on this stopwatch icon, and add the same expression. Now it will keep animating till the end of the timeline. Select the composition, and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate of this layer. Then flip it horizontal, so we get the animation on this side also. So this is our final output. Let's trim these both layers also. Because we need to add the expressions on these layers, so it keep animating. We will use the same technique for that. First pre-compose them both. Then enable time remapping. The add same expression on it. And it's done.
and it's ready for use. Just make sure you render it as a transparent file. If you want to know how to render transparent video, let me know in the comments down below. Play with the presets of Saber plugin to get some different results. So this is all for today. I hope you guys get something useful from this video. Thank you for watching, see you guys in the next one. Till then, have fun and stay safe.